Hey crew, it's Ben, and I'm back on another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new drop from the Magical Mullet. This is Sincerely, a Taxpayer by Samson. Let's go. Nice relaxed beat, huh? I'm hurting. Huh. I can feel my money draining. They take everything I make, and you wonder why I'm complaining. <laughs> I break my neck to make this money, then they just come and take it from me. <laughs> my wages ain't that great in the first place. I should be paying you nothing, <laughs> but they keep on coming and they keep on taking. These motherfuckers go ham on me every time I bring <laughs> them the bacon. And I wonder what it's for. Ukraine, great funding a war. <laughs> you know, everybody complains about taxes, and I get it. But y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know my stance on taxes, right? Taxes are a privilege. It's a privilege that we pay somebody else to do the shit we don't want to do. We're mad, but we're mad for the wrong reasons. Like, you're, you're trying to be mad because taxation is theft. No. Misappropriation of taxation is theft. The people being in charge, using the funds incorrectly, is theft. Us not holding them responsible is the problem. Us not holding the people that spend our money responsible for how they spend our money is the problem. That's what we're mad at. We're mad at us for allowing them to send all this money to places that we don't give a shit about. And we feel like we have no recourse. That's the problem. That is the root cause. It's not taxation. Like, everybody's, everybody gets tied up taxation and stuff. No, taxation without representation. That was the issue. They weren't mad that they were paying taxes when they formed this country. They were mad that they were getting arbitrary taxes levied upon them with no say in how those taxes were spent or allowing the governance of themselves at any capacity. Right? That's what the war was about. It wasn't taxation as theft. We're mad because our taxes are being spent wrong. We're pissed off because we pay all these taxes and it is a lot. And our roads suck. Well, the roads suck because we're not holding the people accountable who build the roads. And the people who pay to have the roads built. We're not we're not holding them accountable. That is our problem. Ham on me every time I bring them the bacon. And I wonder what it's for. Ukraine, great funding a war. Have we spent enough yet? Should I guess not? Look, here they come for some more. Nah. Fuck me, I'm sore. Sucks being poor. Nah. Doing the same job for the last six years. What is struggling before? Nah. Back with right? Everybody's like 6% inflation. I'm like, you're out of your goddamn mind. Out of your mind. Because year over year <clears throat> has been an almost 50% increase in grocery prices. I am paying more this year by almost 50% for milk than I did last year. That's the true rate of inflation, right? How much things cost more. And your dollar is worth less because there's making money to send other places and we are not holding them accountable. Like that all comes back to us locally taking control of things, right? Keep it as local as possible. The office, fuck all the junk that they called him. I never saw any of the shit that people always said he was in the comments. All of it was nonsense. I ain't even trying to write him either. I'm just saying you got to admit this shit was fine when he was the leader. Bet. Like, I don't agree with everything that the orange man did. Right? The bomb stock ban was plum idiotic. A lot of his hiring choices were terrible. Like There were bad things in the presidency. But that man made money decisions like nobody else, and it worked. People were buying recreational vehicles to not live in whenever he was president. Now, if somebody's buying an RV, it's because they had to sell their house. It was fine when he was in charge. I never saw bills as high as they are. I never got chills just literally thinking about filling up my car. It shouldn't be that way. Brother and gas though, right? That gas high like Willie Nelson. That gas high like giraffe pudding. I don't care about Russia or Ukraine, but I do care about... <laughs> right? I don't care. I've had the same stance on that situation the whole time. That situation is an intentional deflation of an economy. Right? And not reducing inflation deflation, but stripping of funds deflation. Like taking away all of the funds from a population is the entire reason for that whole thing. That was a pre-approved land exchange. 
to get rid of used ammunition and things of that nature so that we don't have old stuff just laying around in case we might need it and to get rid of the funds and to deflate the currency that we currently use so that when that digital one rolls out and everybody is so far in debt they have no choice but to sign along and say okay we'll own nothing and we'll be happy about it that that's the entire reason for that whole situation between those countries right that whole thing is an operation of psychological nature. The whole thing. Nothing you have heard from either side is true. About my own country, is that insane? I That's what I want. I bring everybody home from around the world, put them on the borders, beef us up, and let's play isolationists like we did in the 1920s care a lot about all the tons of money that we're paying because it's mine not yours and i'm the one that feels the pain i get taxed on my fucking ass for every dime i make uh, it'd be fine if they would spend my money wisely but no way be see that's what it is that's what people are mad about that's what we need to take charge of we need to take charge of holding the people who make the decisions responsible i am right i am going to vote against the people who funded those things Every chance I can, I, I, we're getting. I'm voting for an entirely new slate of people on this election cycle. I already know who I'm voting for here in my parish, my county, my district. I know, I know who's on my slate, right? I know who I'm voting for. Do you? Are you holding them responsible? Do you know how the people who are there now voted, and who you need to get in there? Do you know how they're going to vote? Are you willing to hold them responsible? Because if you're not, then you don't get to bitch anymore. You either get to help fix it or you get to shut up. And I'm not talking to Samson by any means, right? Samson's bringing awareness to a big problem, right? He's, he's a, we agree. The problem is the spending, right? If you were, if, if our roads were great and our schools were great and everything worked like it's supposed to, we wouldn't bitch about the taxes. That's, that's just the truth. But instead, we have indoctrination centers and shitty roads. So we bitch about the taxes. Be great if they would take it and pay for important shit that benefited you and me and not just wage your wars with it. And the Like, I have so many things that I could go into detail on how we could better spend money to help our population. A fuck are all the liberals? I thought you stood against this shit. I thought the war machine was your enemy. Now you're friends with it? Now you want... Right? I am a very very liberal conservative, right? I want to hold on to our base core values like the Constitution. But I think that if you're gay and you want to get married, peace. And not only that, I perform the marriages. I do that, right? I am a registered minister in my state and I did that so I could marry a same-sex couple because they couldn't find anybody to do that. But I'm a conservative. I believe in the sanctity of marriage and those people are still married today 10 years later and they're not having problems. Right. It's about your choices. Want to go to war? Now you want to fight? Now you want to pick sides in a feud where everyone is white? Now you want to... <laughs> Yo! Now you want to fight? Now you want to pick sides in a feud where everyone is white? Oh, snap. Now you want to get involved and go and blow a person up? I'm just saying, I'm Ooh. surprised this altercation ain't diverse enough. No one deserves this stuff. I just don't believe the tears you weep. Countries where brown people get bombed every day. I don't hear a peep. Bitch. When's the last time you heard about Ethiopia and what's going on down there? Should look it up. You fucking hypocrites thought the race thing was your shtick. I thought as long as white people were involved, you don't give a shit. Those Bruh. So you're and he ain't wrong, though. Like, everybody knows how the game is played. If it's a white man assaulting a black man, then you're going to hear about it. Because they need you divided behind that. But if it's black on black, they're not going to tell you about it. If it's white on white, you're not going to hear about it. You only hear about it when they need you to hear about it. Anything you hear on the news was decided for you to hear. Anything. Words, not mine. I'm just wondering why. Why do we have endless money for them and none for Hawaii? Why? Bet. Or Puerto Rico. How about that? That's a that's an American territory that is in severe distress and has been for years. Why do they not get the money? Why do we spend the money elsewhere? 
why does that have to go there? It really makes you think if you think. Why is it every time Zelensky needs a loan from someone? We're the only ones that give it to him like we owe him something. Bad. We got issues of our own here at home that no one's discussing. And they keep growing because no one in power is going to do nothing. We're stuck. Uh -huh. How the fuck we going to help somebody else when we can't even reach inside our own pockets to help ourselves? We could allocate that money to our own. I already told y'all the answer to that, right? That was the that was the rain in the first part of the video. I'm not gonna get off on it again. Own people in different ways to clothe and feed and bathe and let them know it'll be okay. We could definitely do that. Don't tell me it's not that simple. People overcomplicate this and make it some fucking riddle like Bats. That right there. You know what it is? Nobody wants to take the responsibility for starting it. Nobody wants to take the responsibility for doing it. Everybody wants to let somebody else handle it and maybe I'll help out while it's going on. That's that's the problem. We do that. Don't tell me it's not that simple. People overcomplicate this and make it some fucking riddle like <laughs> can't just feed everyone. Are you insane? You know how much that costs? Way less than we've sent to Ukraine. Way less than we pay people to not grow food. Did you know we pay people to not grow food? In massive numbers. It's to keep the bar market from bottoming out. Because, you know, there's not always a market for things across the country, across the, the equator, right? Things that grow in our summer, they need in the, in the winter for them, right? So why, why are we paying people not to grow food? It's so that we keep starving people. It's not, this is an intentional thing. Like, it was right after the Great Depression that they came in with these, uh, subsidies where they tell people, okay, you cannot grow corn, and if you do, we're going to take your farm from you. But we're going to give you this money to compensate you for that. The federal government is going to pay you a subsidy to not grow food because, you know, we don't have anywhere we could put that food. We don't have a use that we can make out of that food. That That's a real thing. Like, that happens all across the country for a multitude of things, and you would be really surprised at the foods that they are not allowed to grow in this country. Now I know that for sure. You don't have to be a mathematician or a foreign relations expert to figure out that division. You don't have to draw a graph to see it would cost a fraction to solve half of the problems we have and stop them from happening. I could literally do it. Like, I, I, I literally could. I'm just saying. What I have rehabilitation programs for our prisons and our homeless. Like, I have food forest designs for our cities and our towns. I could literally do things. Uh, but, like, you gotta have money to do it. That's why I'm building a game and so I have the money to do shit. For real. Like, I'm not building a game so that I get wealthy. I'm building a game that I can sp spread the wealth. That's why I'm doing that shit. What kind of fucking world we living in? So many billions we've given them. When's Europe chipping in? When we gonna start splitting and stirring up the dividends and begin telling other nations it's your turn to lend a hand? Again, my boy with the mullet bringing the magic, bro. Bring in the magic. And listen, I don't think Ukraine deserves any of this, but I also don't think Zelensky is as great as they said he is. I Bet. 1,010%. I don't believe the media when they blurt shit on their shows. You'd have to be naive to think this dude's as pure as driven snow. Bad. No one. Is like, that is a very shallow rabbit hole. It does not take going deep to find out that is a wow. Is especially when you run a nation, dog. Your morals are compromised the minute that you take the job. So I don't trust Zelensky, Putin, Biden, or anyone. I don't think. Bad. Any of them give a fuck about all us little ones. All the people of Russia, all the people of Ukraine, most of the people of the USA probably feel the same. We don't want this shit, it's only the... But what's the recourse? We hold these truths to be self-evident. Least they do, they line their pockets, they profit from this, but not from me and you. Quite the contrary, in fact, we pay for it with our lives and money. They take chunks of everything we make, your soldiers die for nothing. So they can gain some more power and keep their banks fat. And all we get is table scraps. Fuck yeah, it makes me mad. Fuck. I love the energy. Our lives and money. They take chunks of everything we make. Your soldiers die for nothing. So <sighs> they can gain some more power and keep their banks fat. And all we get is table scraps. Fuck yeah, it makes me mad. Fuck yeah, I get upset. We're constantly ignored. Why the fuck I gotta pay for this? I don't want this war. How'd the <clears throat> Pentagon have six billion unaccounted for? But 
Could you imagine losing six billion dollars? Not million, billion. You gonna tell me you can lose six billion dollars? I, I bet. I, I know some families that can lose six billion dollars. Gotta pay for this. I don't want this war. How the Pentagon have six billion unaccounted for? But when I do my taxes, I'm afraid to be a dollar short. I'm afraid I'll go to jail. I'm afraid I'll do some time if I don't pay you back the money that you wasted. That was mine. I can't keep quiet. Especially since they just hired this whole new force. A whole lot of people to go after a whole lot of people. It anymore. It's impossible to shut up. I'm sick and tired of being responsible for all your fuck ups. But the question is, what are we gonna do about it? There's never a plan of action. All we seem to do is shout it, and I'm guilty of it too. Always bitching and complaining, never local control i'm gonna go on another rant at the end i'm gonna let him finish that walking always Hopefully. talking always lipping off and saying i'm gonna do shit but i don't and to be honest with you that's the reason i don't make a lot of songs and that's the truth i'm sick of bumping my gums i'm <laughs> tired of flapping my jibs something needs to be done and i don't know if rapping is it we <laughs> need a real solution but we need to get together first because unless we're all in this as a whole it'll never work yeah. however what do i know i'm just a moron with a pen but there's power in numbers and there's more of us in them the table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged, and nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. And that's our problem. We have let governance become a job, a profession, something that you can actually go to school and spend money to learn how to do. You, you can learn how to govern in political science. And the things that they teach you are not useful, not in real practical everyday life. The things that they teach you are not going to teach you how to help ease problems. They're going to teach you that problems, problems are profitable. They can make more money off of division than they can off of unity. That's how they view life. And we have allowed those people to be the ones we elect because they have been willing to do the shit we don't want to do. You want to know how to change it? Take control. And by take control, I do not mean armed. I mean locally. Get control of your government. Find solid people and put them in. They are out there. You're just going to have to convince them to run. Because the ones that you have to convince to run are the ones that need to be there. Anybody that wants to be there is a fool or a crook. It's a tough job to actually govern fairly for a people. That is some hard shit to do. And most people are not up to the challenge. You get, you get your people that get in there like Lindsey Graham who talks a really good game. Right? on both sides of the aisle. He doesn't have a stance. And people vote for him because he's willing to do the job and he's got the name recognition and he's got the money and that means that you don't have to get involved. Now, I thought about running. I don't know that I could make it simply because I've got a criminal past. I like You can run a criminal background check on me and some dirty shit pops up from unfinished business that would didn't even happen but it's still there right it's still on my criminal record so i don't know that i could run but i can get involved in helping promote some of these people i think samson could run he could probably run in his district and get a seat and if he ran and he got a seat he would be the man who was making the decisions on how the money was spent here right and samson's solid but you're going to have to convince him to run. He's not going to volunteer for it. He's not going to say, hey, that sounds like a great idea. Let me go into this nest of vipers and be the clean one. The problem is that we have a nest of vipers. What the fuck do you do with a bunch of snakes? <laughs> I can tell you what we do with them. If you're out in the woods down here, chances are you've got things. And if you run across a nest of snakes, you're not going to leave them there. Because somebody else might run across that nest of snakes and not be aware of them. 
So you take care of them. That's how we do things in the South, and that's that's the last resort, right? Hopefully we don't come to that. Hopefully we have people like Samson who were solid to step up. And I'm not calling him out. He's the example because it's his video. Our only path out of this at all is to, number one, find God and to serve him in the capacity that he has asked for. And to, number two, take responsibility for ourselves and those around us to make sure that the actual thing that needs to be done gets done. That is what our country was founded on. That was the American dream was never to work for somebody else. The American dream was to be able to do what you want to do and work hard and make a living at it. That was the dream. To be able to not have to give everything to somebody else to do things for you. Now, we have the privilege in the United States of America of paying taxes so that our kids get a quality education. We have the privilege of paying taxes so that we have an internet state system that should be coast to coast, one of the best working, longest, like the best. That's what it should be with the amount of money that we put into it. Our problem is us, not holding the people who build the roads responsible. Our problem is us, not holding the people who make the decisions responsible because they make a decision on where to spend your money and they can either spend it at this conference or they can spend it in your community and what they make that decision is where you need to hold them responsible you have to take responsibility for your life and those around you in your life that you care for to make sure that they're being cared for by the people you have the privilege of paying to take care of these problems like roads and schools. I've talked before about here, here where I'm at in Walker. We have pilot programs in our schools. It is an amazing thing. We pay extra money for good schools. We pay extra money for good roads and for good parks. And we have them. <laughs> this community has better roads, schools, and parks than the surrounding communities. We pay more in taxes for that and it works. We're not mad about that. But if you live in the city right up the road, in St. Helena Parish, where they can't afford schools, but they pay taxes, that's a problem, right? All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Personal responsibility is our path forward. We need to not just hold our elected, our elected officials responsible, but to ensure that the proper people are getting coerced into running. Because the people who want to run for this are the wrong ones to have it. It needs to be the people you have to convince to run. That's who needs to be there. This was meant to be a part-time job. You would work your normal job. You would go in and legislate for a couple of months. And you would go back to your job. That was the intention of governance. We've allowed it to get too big. There are too many fingers out there trying to find pie. That's a problem. Samson, thank you for this. It sure got me talking, and that is always a good thing. So it's a good discussion, and as always, I am never attacking the person bringing these subjects up. We are all looking for solutions, every single one of us. If you have any level of responsibility in you at all, you're trying to figure out how do we come out of this with no bloodshed, because that is... That is a scary possibility, people. People always want to do Patriot, talk Patriot until it's time to do Patriot things. And I'm telling you, there's nothing nice about having to do those things. There's nothing nice about those things that get done. Nothing. The outcome can be great, but the process is terrible. And we do not want that. We don't. Nobody wants that, even if they think they do. Samson, thank you for this. This was great music, and it is always greatly appreciated. Y'all make sure y'all get back over there and show some love. The link is provided in the description box down below. Give him a like, share, and a sub. Throw him a comment. Let him know you appreciate what he's doing. I do. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you were here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. You're perfect, holy, complete, just the way that you are. And this has been Pitt State. Peace.